Hey, what's up, hey, Operation iDroid here, and in this video, I'm gonna be showing you how to record your jailbroken iOS devices screen. The application we'll be using to do this is Display Recorder, and also happens to be the same screen recorder I've been using most of my YouTube career. One of the questions I get asked most is, how or what do you use to record your screen? And in this video, I'm happy to finally answer that question. If you're excited to learn how to use Display Recorder, the same screen recorder I use, please hit that like button and without any further ado, let's head into the tutorial. All right, like I mentioned, you will need to be jailbroken to get this screen recorder. However, if you'd like to get a non-jailbroken screen recorder, there will be a link in the description below. However, if you are jailbroken, go ahead and open your Cydia application and we're simply going to search Display Recorder. And Display Recorder is a paid application, but I encourage you to buy it. It is totally worth it and you will not be disappointed with the quality of recording that you get from Display Recorder. I've been using it for years and I love it. But once you get Display Recorder by buying it and hitting install at the top right hand corner, your iOS device will respring and you'll see that you now have an activator application if you didn't already have it and Display Recorder on your springboard. So you can go ahead and open Display Recorder by clicking on it and as you can see, all your recordings that you may or may not have done are in Display Recorder, but the first thing we're gonna do is head into the settings by clicking settings, or you can go into your settings and then click Display Recorder. However, once you are at the settings, here are the settings that I like to use, which are pretty good if you ask me. Rotation is set to current, mode, quick time, video format H.264, and you can click on video format and you can do it with audio or without audio, but it is only the mic audio. There aren't any screen recorders that record your iOS devices native sound besides the mic. And then everything else, you can just set it to exactly what I have here. You can also have taps on if that's something you'd like to do. However, what you do want to do is select an activation method for display recorder, which I like to use both pressing of the volume buttons as you saw me do at the start of this video. So if I click both volume buttons, I'll get that little pop-up that says, would you like to start a recording? And once I hit record, my recording starts. So right now I'm just going to do a couple of things on my phone here just to show you guys that it is definitely recording. And you'll know that display recording is recording because if you go to the icon, as you can see, there's a little red dot on it. And then when you end your recording by using the same activation method, that little red dot will be gone. So once you're done with your recording, you can go to display recorder. And if you click on it, you can play it, add it to your camera roll, share it via messages, mail, uh, delete it, rename it, whatever you want to do, you definitely can do it. I usually just add it to my camera roll and then from there, I add it into my computer and edit it over there. However, if you don't have a computer and you'd like to learn how to edit your recordings without a computer, I'll have a tutorial for that linked in the description below. Nevertheless, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and you'll start to use Display Recorder to make your own tutorials or gameplays. Make sure you click that like button if you found it helpful and subscribe if you're new for new tutorials every week.